I am Emily Moshek, and I'm joined in studio today by Sean Short and Ryan Smith, the Director of Operations and the Director of Programs at Blooming Health Farm. So welcome today, gentlemen. Thank Hi. you. Before we get into the meat of the interview, I just want to start off with the basics. What is Blooming Health Farms? Uh, Blooming Health Farms, it's kind of the combination of two dreams. Um, Ryan and I came together at the beginning of this year to share uh, our passions for farming and for mental health. And so what we're trying to do is help at-risk youth through innovative farming. We're trying to get kids off the street, basically, and uh, teach them STEM skills, life skills, give them opportunities to become uh, leaders of our community. That's really awesome. And you mentioned you were both inspired by both farming and mental health. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? What inspired you so much to turn it into an organization? I saw that the best way for farming, in my opinion, was to, to grow food as efficiently as possible. And uh, to me, that method looked like hydroponic farming. And years ago, I had been introduced to this concept of aquaponics and growing plants with fish. And in that, I saw how there was this uh, aspect of sustainability and increased productivity compared to traditional soil agriculture. And to me, I thought that was the future of, of food. There was job security. I knew people always needed food, so I would have a job. Uh, so I started off wanting to be a farmer, wanted to get into it. And um, the more and more that I looked into it and pursued it, I went down that path of, um, I guess you'd say education. And I found a school in Hawaii that uh, had a professor doing research on aquaponics. And his extension work there allowed me to work with other farmers, and specifically farmers who didn't have a lot of money. And that really opened my eyes to how powerful it is to just be helping people. And not only just growing food, but being able to help other people start business and um, just see them grow, both financially and uh emotionally, I think, yeah. was something that was really inspiring to me. And so I had been pursuing this uh, idea of starting my own farm for a long time before I came across Ryan. How yeah. about you, Ryan? Um, well, so I'm a mental health counselor. I have a strong background in crisis intervention, um, as well as uh, individual and group therapy. Um, and I've always liked growing things. I've always liked fish. And I just had this kind of harebrained idea. I came across aquaponics and some in internet research and um, I just had this harebrained idea to turn it into a, an at-risk youth outreach program um, because there's a lot of science involved, there's a lot of business skills involved and so I just started making connections and came across Sean and we hit it off and that's how we got to where we're at. That's pretty awesome. Both of you turning your passions into something that can help not only you but other people as well. Yeah, definitely. That's great. So before we get into the details of Blooming Health Farms, I have to ask, what is aquaponics? I know you touched on it a little bit, but I'm not a super science person, so <laughs> I'm going to need a little down, dumbed down walkthrough. <laughs> no worries. Um, so aquaponics, it's uh, a combination of really two industries that came together, uh, aquaculture and hydroponics. And I mentioned hydroponics earlier. Hydroponics is, in the most simplest way, growing plants in uh, without soil in water that has all the nutrients in it. And aquaculture is the raising of fish, uh, salmon, trout. Those are things that we're mostly familiar with here in Colorado, but other things like tuna, tilapia, prawns uh, that we also consume. And uh, so it's the marriage of these two industries to create an almost symbiotic relationship in where one species, the fish, actually fertilizes the plants and the plants remove the uh, what is in the water and purify it back for the fish. So it's a, it's a mimicking a natural ecosystem in almost a uh, closed loop system. Oh, wow. And so the uh, clients or patients at Blooming Health get to work with aqu aquaponics. Correct. 
Yeah. Very cool. And can you tell me a little bit more about how that works? Like how do youth find Blooming Health and get involved? Well, so we have a few referral sources, the um, Youth and Family Connections, which is a um, program for kids who are either on the edge of going to jail or have been to jail and they're trying to get them out of that revolving door justice system. Um, they have uh, offered to be a referral source for us. North Range will refer kids over to us. Um, and then they will work doing general farm labor, taking care of the fish and the plants. They'll be earning a paycheck um, well above minimum wage. Um, and they will also participate in academic uh, studies based on what they're doing at the farm. Um, and then as well, um, or on top of that, they will be engaged in individual and group therapy with uh, licensed clinicians or master's level clinicians to help address some of those mental health needs that contribute to youth crime and gang involvement. So it's really hands-on and personal for each kid. Mm -hmm. Now, when you reached out to me, you told me that Weld County is the third in the nation for youth crime. Why do you think that is? You know, I would say lack of resources. It seems like you know we're such a big county here. We're so spread out, and everything is centralized either in in Greeley, um, and a lot of we've noticed even the communities here uh, on the Front Range have to send a lot of their uh, mental health over to Greeley, and uh, so it seems like there's they're just highly burdened. Yeah, I think. Sean nailed it. Um, lack of resources is a big one, and I think lack of opportunity. Um, you know, you don't think of us in Weld County as having the ghettos that Denver or even bigger cities like Detroit have, but there's just not a lot of opportunity for kids once they get into the justice system, you know, which could be as simple as getting bored and going out and smoking weeds with weed with their friends or, you know, spray painting the side of a car or a building or something. Um, but once they get involved in that justice system, it's really hard for them to get out. Mm -hmm. Well, it is fantastic that these kids now have a place like Blooming Health where they get an opportunity to get out and get better. You mentioned how you attack mental health at Blooming Health with four different programs I saw on your website. Can you just tell me a little bit more about each one individually and how they work? Sure. Um, so like I said, the kids are, are engaged in individual and group therapy with master's level uh, therapists and social workers um, using a technique called cognitive behavioral therapy, which is one of the most scientifically backed uh, mental health interventions out there. Um, and then also, like I said, they are involved in academic studies. We're going to be partnering with some of the local professors from Ames and UNC uh, to develop actual curricula, um, STEM-based curricula, in conjunction with the farming activities. Um, we are, hopefully, we, we will be able to um, help these kids get either back into school or um, get more engaged in school and pursue higher education, um, and then also just giving back to the community and you know, community development, helping the whole family system uh, develop as a as a unit, um, not just looking at the kid. Mm -hmm. Going a little bit more in general, mental health has been a big topic lately, not only in northern Colorado, but kind of all over the nation. People have really been starting to talk about it. What is your advice as a counselor for listeners who may be struggling with this? Well, I think... I think the, the advice that's out there is reach out, um, you know, reach out for help, find a counselor, but that's not always as easy to do as it is to talk about. And um, so I think, I think my advice for people, whether they are struggling with mental health or, you know, even if you're not and you want to be a resource is just listen, listen to each other and be there for each other to have those difficult conversations. Um, because if you're the one that needs it right now, maybe the person that you're talking to is going to need that same help in a month or two or a year. And now Blooming Health has been around for how long? 
We are relatively new, so since April of this since year. Since April, well, congratulations. That's yeah. awesome that you guys are getting yeah, off we... the ground and starting. Thank you. I know it's a short time, so this might be a hard question, but how have you seen Blooming Health Farms make an impact so far, whether it's with the youth or just people you've been working with to get it started? I think what we're really seeing is just kind of this excitement from uh, two different worlds that we didn't expect to be blended together. Uh, you don't typically think of um, farming and mental health to be together, but we've seen things like successful models like the, the veterans with farms. The, uh, so they've shown that there's you know enthusiasm for this type of thing. And the fact that we're addressing, you know, we want to be in our community, we want to stay in Greeley and help uh, those people that, you know, need need that type of services and are in those areas of Greeley that uh, tend to lack these resources. Uh, people are just they're blown away that we want to do that. Yeah, I think that's really great, especially because Greeley doesn't have as many resources that Blooming Health is now there. And in such a creative way, because this really is a unique a unique thing that isn't everywhere. So that's exciting to have in northern Colorado. If a young person wants to sign up or join Blooming Health Farms, how do how would they go about that? What is the process? Um, we have a referral form on our website, bloominghealthfarms.com. Our I think both of our phone numbers and our emails are both on on the website. So um they can either email us, give us a call, um, or just fill out the referral form on the website. Nice and easy. Yeah. Can listeners volunteer for Blooming Health, or is it too soon for that yet? We'd love to hear from anybody that wants to volunteer. I mean, there's always help needed the back end. Um, you know, we've seen people volunteer, you know, help fill out our 501c3 uh, to just do other grant search, grant application type stuff. And all these skills that we never expected have come out of the woodwork. So, I mean, yesterday we got a call from a guy with a uh, background in fisheries and wildlife biology that said, oh, hey, I just want to help. Um, and I want to sit down and chat with you guys. And so those things like that, we have no idea uh, what can come of that. So we welcome those opportunities. That's really fantastic. The community is already coming together. <laughs> And would they just go to the same website if they wanted to get in touch with you? Yeah, the website's the best way to get in touch with us. It's got all the information that Ryan mentioned on there. Mm -hmm. Great. And do you mind just telling us one more time what that is so everyone can know for sure? Yeah, of course. Uh, you can find us at bloominghealthfarms.com. Oh, awesome. That was very simple. <laughs> no dashes or anything crazy. <laughs> yeah. Bloominghealthfarms.com. Well, thank you again so much, Sean and Ryan, for coming in to talk to me about this today. I personally am so excited that there is this fantastic resource for mental health in northern Colorado. So I'm excited to see where it goes. Cool. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yes, thank, thank you so you. much. One final thought, if you just had to get out a sentence or a little paragraph about Blooming Health Farms that you want our listeners to know, what would it be? You know, we're, we're here for the community, and um, we're really growing food for northern Colorado and then growing people for the community. Thanks again to Sean Short, the Director of Operations, and Ryan Smith, the Director of Programs at Blooming Health Farms. If you would like to learn more about this new mental health program in Greeley, you can visit bloominghealthfarms.com.